Kia ora, I'm Cherie Kinnear and this is the COVID-19 news update for Friday. There were 9,390 new community cases of COVID-19 to report today and 13 new deaths. Of the deaths, one person was aged between 10 and 19. Five of the others were in their 70s, six in their 80s and one person was over 90. The COVID-related deaths reported today take the death toll to 646, while the seven-day rolling average of reported deaths is 11. The Ministry is also reporting 522 people in hospital with the virus, including 15 in intensive care. As New Zealand heads into another long weekend, the Ministry has asked people heading away to have plans in place in case they contracted COVID-19 or became a household contact. They say you would need to self-isolate and likely remain wherever you test positive or become a contact, so there may be extra costs involved. People who use their own vehicle, though, could travel back home to isolate, taking public health measures to ensure they did not infect anyone on their way home. Today's numbers come after an Auckland teenager was found to have tested positive twice in six weeks, raising questions about official health advice that people have good immunity for three months after infection. It also comes as one in four adults are yet to have their booster shot. And that's the latest COVID-19 news for today. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.